with Next Level PT TV. Um, today what we're going to talk about in an area where a lot of my patients seem to struggle at times to understand is you know, the concept of where you hurt is not why you hurt, right? Or um, you know, the idea that us treating one area of your body is positively affecting the other area of your body. So a lot of people come to me with knee pain or foot pain or hip pain and think that they have a problem with their hip or they have a problem with their knee or a problem with their foot. And they look at their body like a car, and our bodies really aren't designed like cars. So if you think about a car, your radiator starts leaking, you go fix the radiator. Your brakes stop working, you go fix the brakes. So people come to me and think, my knee hurts, I need to fix my knee. And a lot of times that's not how it works. Our bodies are much more complicated than that. So what I want to discuss today is a concept that we call um, the joint-by-joint -joint approach to, to treatment. And I think it's a simple uh, way to just grasp, grasp this idea of you know, when you come in and your knee's hurting and we're working on your hip or you're working on your ankle, that it's all connected, it's all, it, it all relates. So um, the idea here is that your body, the joints in your body are a series that alternate between needing mobility and stability. Okay, so if you start at your foot, and if you look at our incredibly lifelike picture here, start down here at the foot, your foot needs to be stable, all right? So foot, stable. Ankle joint needs a lot of mobility. Joints mobile. Okay, your knee, you need a lot of stability in your knee. You don't want your knee caving in or, or when you're jumping or landing. So knee needs to be stable. Okay, hips need to be mobile. A lot of people come with, you know, with hip mobility issues and people always saying they have tight hamstrings, tight hip flexors, tight hips. Okay, hips are an area of your body that needs to be mobile. All right, low back, lumbar. We hear a lot about core stability. So naturally you need to be stable there. You need to be able to prevent movement in your lumbar spine to stable. Okay, upper back, you need to be able to rotate, extend, bend freely. Upper back needs to be mobile. Okay, shoulder blades not drawn on here. Your shoulder blades need to be stable. Shoulders need to have a lot of mobility. Your elbows, if you think about baseball player, you don't want to be cocking back and having your elbow go every which way, so you need, to, you need stability through the elbow. And your hand and wrist need to be mobile. So again, this idea that the joints in your body really alternate between needing mobility and stability. So what happens in people that come to us, let's say you have someone who comes with low back pain, a lot of times what we frequently see is that this sequence of joints, the, they get reversed. So the upper back becomes stiff and restricted, the hips become stiff and restricted, and your low back moves more than it should, and you, know, you bulge a disc or pull a muscle, you know, something happens as a result of that issue. The issue isn't that you pulled a, you blew out a disc or you pulled a muscle, the issue is why did that happen? That upper back got restricted, hips got restricted. So the fix for it, you know, while we'll do some treatment local to the area that you're having problems, you know, if you come in with a back issue, we're not gonna neglect your back, you know, we may manipulate you, we may do some dry needling, something to help with the symptoms. But the bigger treatment and the corrective exercise focus of things usually pays attention to these other areas that are indirectly causing that issue that you're having at your back. So again, where you hurt is not why you hurt. It's a difficult concept to grasp, but really important if you want to achieve a good long-term result. If you're going to a therapist and you're having knee pain and you're there just massaging your knee, it's very unlikely that your body's going to make a full recovery and be able to sustain itself over the long time. So um, again, focus your treatments, not necessarily on, why, on where you hurt, but the dysfunctions that led to it hurting in that spot. So that's it for today, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.